All right, so in this video, uh, let's solve a, uh, a transistor, uh, an amplifying cir circuit using a transistor in a common emitter configuration. Uh, the question says, determine the static value of current gain and collective voltage in the circuit. The static value, it's referring to the fact that there is no input signal coming in into the amplifier. The static value means the quiescent state of the amplifier, meaning that you have DC voltage in order to uh, bias the transistor and the input signal. Um, so we need to calculate for current gain and collective voltage. Uh, the current gain of the amplifier of this um, transistor is the current flowing through the collector. We need to calculate a voltage at this point in current, at this point, and voltage on the emitter. Um, I have already went ahead. I already went ahead and calculated the voltage at the base. This is this this voltage here. Uh, which is 2.6 in reality is 2.9 but i believe 2.6 is a an even prettier number um the way to calculate this voltage uh, let's say base voltage it is bv voltage at the base is equals to bcc which is the nine volts of the battery times R2 over R1 plus R2. So BV, actually I should have said VR2, VR2 is equals to 2.6 volts. All right, so we have 2.6 volts dropping across R2. Um, the voltage drop across base emitter, this voltage here, VVE, is equals to 0.6 volts. So we have 2.6 volts dropping here. What is the, bol the, the, uh, the voltage dropping across R4? Um, BR4, let's put it over here, BR4, um, should be emitter voltage VR4 is equals to um, VR2 minus BV this is equals to 2.6 minus 0.6 equals 2 volts so this voltage here is 2 volts at this point so next let's calculate what is the emitter current which is the current flowing through R4 emitter current um, that would be VR4 actually I R4 is equals to um, VR4 over R4 this is equals to 2 volts over 1 times 10 to the 3 which is 1000 And we need to move the point uh, three places to the left. So IR4 is equals to 
0 0.002 amps, which is the same as 2 milliamps. Okay, so that is the current flowing <clears throat> through R4. Uh, what is the current flowing through R3? Um, collector current. Collect, uh, uh, current of the emitter is approximately equals to the current of the collector. So we can say that current of the collector is approximately 2 milliamps. But to be exact, we need to first, we can assume it's the same. The current is so small that it's basically the same. Um, but to be exact, let's first calculate the current flowing into the base. We already have the voltage at this point, so let's calculate the current flowing through R2. So let's put over here base current um, IR2 is equals to um, voltage R2 over R2. This is equals to This is equals to 78 micro amps. Um, this is equals to um, 2.6 over 33 times 10 to the 3, which is equals to 78 micro amps. Um, the 78 micro amps are flowing through here, but we need we need to find out the, the current flowing into the base. So now let's calculate the, the current flowing through R1. IR1 is equals to, um, so if we have 2.6 volts here, the rest of the nine volts are going to be dropping here. So it'll be VCC minus VR2 over R1. And this is equals to 9 minus 2.6 over 68 times 10 to the 3. And this is equal to 94 microamps. All right, so what is the current of the base? Current of the base is equal to current through R1 minus current through R2. So this is equal to 94 microamps minus 78 microamps all right so according to uh, Kirchhoff uh, low current uh, the sum of all the current leaving a node should be equal to the current entering that node so if we have 94 microamps flowing in this direction and we have um, 78 microamps flowing in this direction the rest has to be flowing into the base And this is equals to 16 microamps. All right, so that is the base current. Um, so we don't have the beta 
of the transistor, uh, but that is easier to find out. We have a two milliamps um, emitter current. Uh, the HFE or the beta, HFE, HFE or beta, which is the gain of the transistor. Uh, let's say that beta is equals to um, the collected current over the base current. The collected current is 2 milliamps and the base current is 16 microamps. So the beta of the transistor is 125, okay? Um, so we can say that this current here, actually the voltage here, what is the voltage at this point? The output of the amplifier is this point right here. The load will be connected with these two points. So what is the output voltage? Uh, the output voltage, we have two volts here. Um, but we don't know what is the uh, drop of voltage on R3. Um, we know that there is nine volts between this point and this point. We have two volts here. Uh, we have a collector current of two milliamps. What is the voltage drop on R3? Um, collector voltage. Uh, the, the voltage on R3 is equals to current on R3 times R3. Make a correction there. So the voltage on R3, VR3, is equals to 4 volts. So I have four bolts across R3, I have two bolts on R4, that's six bolts, and BCE, BCE is equals to three bolts, okay? I have four bolts on R3, two bolts on R4, that's six and three, that's nine volts. Uh, what is the output voltage? The output voltage across these two points is two volts plus three volts. That's equals to V out is equals to five volts. Okay, five volts and a current of two milliamps. So this one here will be five volts. Okay, so thanks for watching.